Hi, this is Deborah Wilder, and today I am doing my final video for my art literature and music appreciation class through Trinity McCall University for spring 2020 semester. Today I'm talking about my favorite era in history, which would likely be the Romantic Era. This era took place from 1800 to 1880-ish in Europe. This movement is somewhat sprouted as a result of the Industrial Revolution. Another thing that really affected it was the French Revolution, which happened just before this era started. It really changed a lot of people's viewpoints on things. One of the most famous, famous paintings from this era is Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix in 1830, which I'll feature right here. And in this painting, you can see that the French Revolution really influenced this painting a lot. And there's many other paintings in art and music that is affected by the French Revolution. Another famous painting of the time was A Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, which was painted by Caspar David Friedrich in 1818, which I'll feature right here. This painting also is a very famous painting for this time, and I see it a lot throughout media and such, even nowadays. The general philosophy of this time focused on emotion above pretty much anything else. The movement also focused on medievalism. There's a lot of medieval fantasy created and paintings based on medievalism in this time. They also focused a lot more on Imagination over realism, which would be the conflict that was caused when realists became a popular movement as well. One of the reasons I really like Romanticism as an era is because I like the imagination and creativity in art and music and literature and pretty much anywhere in life. I really like the brightness that creativity brings to what can somewhat be kind of dull world of art sometimes. People in art, especially in certain eras, their paintings all look pretty similar. So I like how romanticism brought creativity to art, the art. Another thing I like about it is how amplified and glorified things are from what they actually are. So they're just like appreciating God's creation to the next level by amplifying it in their art. One thing that really reflects the era to me is Jane Austen's works, especially Pride and Prejudice. In Pride and Prejudice, they talk about how things were in that time and... But also, her I, what happens in the books can be definitely considered romantic, because I would consider Jane Austen, especially *Pride and Prejudice*, to be a very creative work of art. That probably, even though it seems fairly realistic, it probably would not have happened in real life, the way it happened in *Pride and Prejudice*. And so, I really like that about her novels, and it really paints a picture of romanticism for me. I hope that you enjoyed listening to my video, and I hope it was satisfactory. Thank you. Bye.